Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. This is part one of Python inheritance. So guys, in this session, we will learn what is the inheritance and how we can implement the inheritance in the Python programming. Okay, so guys, inheritance is nothing. It's the part of OOPS concept. Okay, so using inheritance, one class can drive the property of another class. Okay, so inheritance basically used to reduce the length of your script. It means using the inheritance, you can correlate your multiple classes with each other, right? So instead of defining each class and their method, it will be good for us if we will correlate our class using the inheritance. So inheritance means where a child inherit some of the characteristic from his parents. Okay, so let me give you a basic example. Let's say you have some special properties and those properties are genetic features. Might be those features you got from your parent and your parent got that particular feature from your grandparent, right? It means you are inheriting the genetic feature from your parents, okay? So that's called inheritance. Or in the same way, you can say that, let's say you are using your parents' financial property and land. It means you are inheriting that property once you need, okay? So these type of method call inheritance and in Pythonic world if your subclass are accessing the property from the superclass that is inheritance in Python programming okay so subclass can access all the properties or feature from the superclass so, so let's take an example based on the inheritance so here what I'm doing I'm going to define a class which is vehicle okay so here as you know, I'm going to define my constructor self and I'm taking two variables, which is mileage and price. Okay. So guys, once again, I'm repeating myself. I have already told you in the last session in Python, we can define the constructor using the init method. Okay. Constructor is a special type of method. So when you are creating any object, during the creation of object, you can assign the value using the constructor. Okay. So here you can provide whatever variable names you want based on your requirement. Okay. So as of now, I want only the mileage and price. And simple self dot mileage equal to mileage and self dot price equal to price. Now here I'm going to define the class method which is details of vehicle and here i'm going to pass my the self argument so print so some of the basic info information i'm going to print here so mileage of vehicle is simple self dot mileage okay so let me correct this mileage and print price of vehicle as self dot price. And here I'm going to provide the blank space and print these details for R for vehicle. provide some of the formatting let's say 15 characters which is a star so guys these my the basic class where i have defined my the constructor and my instance method so let me create a instance variable which is v and my class name which is vehicle and here i am going to provide the mileage and price okay so let's say if i am going to fill my tank so i am getting the 400 mileage and the price for that, let's say 10,000 10, USD. Here, in case if I want to details of my vehicle, so simple V dot details of vehicle, fine. This one, okay. So now the question is how we can inherit these class property using the child class, okay. So now we need to create a child class by which we can access the property of our super class, right? So guys, the child class can add a few more definition or redefine a base class method as well. So let me give you example based on the inheritance. So let's say class and here my class name is car. 
and here whatever the class you want to inherit it then that class name you need to provide here so let's say i want to inherit the vehicle class simple whatever the class you want to inherit then you can supply that class name for an example i want here vehicle class because vehicle is nothing is my super class so inside the parenthesis you can define your super class or base class okay so once you pass your base class name it means you are inheriting the class attributes and method and apart from that i will define the child class method as well okay so let's say def show car details so print i am an extra ordinary car on print i am a method of child class which is car now the question is how we can instantiate our child class so simple i am taking a variable which is c and the class name which is car so guys here i am accessing the parent class which is vehicle as well okay why it is giving me error so it is giving me in it missing two required positional argument which is mileage and price because i am inheriting the class which is vehicle and the vehicle class will take two argument which is mileage and price but here i am not supplying anything so that's why i am getting the error so what we can do so i can provide the my variable which is 300 and let's say 10000 usd fine now c dot details of vehicles so you can see that this is the details of vehicle is the part of your super class fine this one so using the child class object i am going to access your parent class methods okay this one and now i am going to call the child class method as well so c dot show car details you can see that okay i am a method of child class car or in case you want to print the mileage and price so c dot mileage and c dot price so guys by this way we can apply the single inheritance now the very important thing i am going to tell you how we can overriding the init method so guys there is a super function okay so guys using the super function we can override the init method okay let me give you an example once again i am going to create a class which is car and here i am going to inherit vehicle and here i am going to supply self mileage price and wheels and horsepower okay so guys here mileage and price is the part of your parent class and apart from that i am going to define the sum of the attributes which is wheels and horsepower okay now let me define this super method so let's say super and it and you can supply the mileage and price whatever the attributes of your parent class so guys the question is why we use super method okay so in case you want to use the parent class in the child class then you will use the super method super means your parent class now self dot wheels equal to wheels and here self dot horsepower equal to horsepower and here i am going to define another instance method which is def so car details which is self and here once again i am going to copy these method this one print i am just a car so let me run this so here let me instantiate the car object which is c1 equal to car so first of all we need to define your mileage which is let's say 500 and the price will be let's say 20000 usd and the wheel which is 4 and the horsepower it could be anything let's say 1000 okay now c1 which is 
details of vehicle. So guys, you can see that using the super method, I have overrided your init matter as well. Okay. Now, apart from that, you can print the lots of information. Let's say cost of car, which is C1 dot price. price and print totals wheels which is c1 dot wheels and blank line c1 dot so car details this one okay so this is none is nothing because print method is giving me none right now let if i am going to print this one so it will not return the none. Okay, let's understand the order of the inheritance and what your class is performing, which type of object or which type of operation. So simple, you can use help and your child class name, which is car. And see this. So help on class car in module. So here I have defined my your car class. And here I'm going to inherit that class using the vehicle. And these are the car methods and attributes and these are the method resolution order so first of all car will be executed then vehicle class will be executed then whatever your built-ins object and these are the method you have defined here this one you have defined the constructor and apart from that instance method and some of the method inherited from vehicle and the method name with which is details of vehicle so lots of information you can display using the help and your child class methods. Okay. So guys, I hope you understood the concept of inheritance. In this session, we have seen about the inheritance and how we can define the single inheritance in Python and what is the super method does in Python inheritance. In the next session, we will discuss multiple inheritance, multi-label inheritance and hybrid inheritance. So guys do practice of this session. Thanks for watching and have a great day.